my channel it's time for a hair product review these are my favorite types of videos to film so I'm gonna have some timestamps breaking everything down also special thanks to my channel members for helping support this channel through difficult times I really appreciate it so today we're talking about Eva NYC's blue shampoo and conditioner it's the brass to sass hair products these are 8.8 .8 fluid ounces it's my first time trying out blue shampoo I have tried out purple shampoo when I was a blonde back in the day so I was very interested to try these out these were sent to me a while ago this is my first impressions I'm gonna do a full review in a couple of weeks after I use these a little bit more I think I've used these three times so far my biggest concerns when I got these are do they smell good is it gonna be drying on my hair because I've had previous experiences where purple shampoo was a little bit drying on my hair nothing that a little leave-in conditioner couldn't fix but it's still something that I notice and three is it gonna be messy because purple shampoo can be messy and this one is a bright blue color so we're gonna break it down. Eva NYC is vegan and cruelty free. This has their new like aluminum packaging, which is cool. So the claims of this product are it's supposed to help remove brassy orangey tones. This can be used on naturally brunette hair, on dyed brunette hair, on highlighted brunette hair. So there's a lot of options there. And I do feel that if you have lighter pieces of brown in your hair, this is gonna definitely help the contrast of it. It's going to kind of help tone it a little bit, which I think helps refresh it a little in between hair appointments which is what I used to do with the purple shampoo as a blonde so in terms of smell it does have that traditional sweet fun Eva NYC scent it's it's almost identical to all the other products which I'm happy about in terms of dryness it didn't dry out my hair or anything the shampoo and conditioner are both a little bit runny you can definitely tell the consistency is a little bit different than the 10 in 1 magic formulation I'm sure the blue pigment has something to do with that but it didn't affect the moisture levels that I was receiving receiving in my hair. Was it messy? Definitely. It was definitely messy. Water definitely rinsed it out eventually, but while you're applying it and stuff, it does get everywhere, especially if you have like a white bathroom or a white tub. You are going to see it kind of on your walls, but the second you pour some water on it, it kind of disappears. It sucks for me because I don't have I don't have a detachable shower head, that's what it's called. So for me, it would took a little bit longer, just a couple extra seconds. I do want to bring it up because I'm sure that's a concern for at least some people. My hands were also stained as I was applying my shampoo and conditioner but once I started using soap and body wash for the rest of my body like as I was continuing my bath routine it goes away so you're left stain free I recently did a video talking about my engagement rings and how I messed two of them up with purple shampoo and when I was filming the demos for this blue shampoo I almost forgot to take off my ring as well like I almost didn't catch myself making that same mistake for the third time in a row after I just finished doing a video about it I did manage to remove it without getting it stained or anything Thing. It does wash off, but I do feel like sometimes jewelry can get affected, at least in my experience with purple shampoo. So, so far, I like it. I think it does leave it shiny, a little bit glossy. I don't notice any drastic, drastic difference, but that's because this is completely virgin dark brown hair. Um, like I said before, if I still had those orangey bits from my leftover overtone color that I had, I had the extreme red and it faded out to like a burnt orange, I do think this would have helped kind of give it a little bit more life, like a little bit more lively in between hair sessions like at the salon I feel like salons right now or at least the stylists that I follow are booked up because everyone's just dying to get their hair done after the mess that 2020 was so that's just something to keep in mind overall I do think it gave me nice volume nice bit of shine a little bit of um like just the richness like brown hair brunette hair is rich and it's beautiful and I definitely feel like it lacks some love from people so I do like these it's my first time with blue shampoo and so far so good like I said I've used it three times I do leave the conditioner on for a little bit longer than normal I used to do that with purple shampoo as well I like to leave it on a little longer just to see if there's any more drastic effects generally you only have to keep it on for like three to five minutes and then rinse it off I'm gonna keep using these see how it goes I'm probably gonna use these like twice a week three times a week I don't think I'm gonna use these every single time that I wash my hair I don't think it's necessary and doesn't really tell you how often you should do it so I'm just gonna stick with that we'll see how it goes and if I feel like I should bump it up I will that's pretty much my overall thoughts so far if you've tried this shampoo and conditioner let me know how it felt for you or if you've tried purple shampoo before let me know your experience with those down below I would love to hear how you feel and yeah that's pretty much it for this video just as a reminder I am not being financially compensated to do these reviews they just send me the products and that's it I'm, I'm honestly surprised I'm still on their PR list because I feel like my Instagram posts for Yvonne Messi even though they look beautiful 
don't get a lot of engagement so so I kept thinking it was off their list already but I like to bring my honest thoughts to all of these types of products um, and if there's any product that you would like to see me review let me know down below I would definitely love to get on it. it it feels good to be back here doing hair product videos but I also want to do skincare so if you have any products for that as well let me know down below the sun is killing me but yes thank you so much I hope you're doing well I upload videos twice a week on this channel and I'll see you next time bye